Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with a new mini album for the Paige Evans Design Team. And this one is based on one of Paige's cut files. And this is called the Mini Album Card with Pocket Envelope and Tags cut file. And I've already done all the cutting. And I'm primarily using the Oh My Heart collection. So I cut the base on white cardstock, and then there are lots of bits and pieces to cut. There's a little fold-out piece. That's the envelope right there. There are a couple of tags, um, squares to put in all of the folded spots, and then you've got two long pieces there for the front and the back covers. And if you know me, you know that mini albums are not my specialty, but let me tell you, this was probably the most fun I've had making a mini album because the work is pretty much done for you. Now, this is me looking like a clueless moron here, not knowing how to fold this thing. It's basically like an accordion. You fold one row one way and then the middle row goes the opposite way. And I had to pull up the sample online to fold it correctly because I'm a dork. But I eventually got it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this was not working. And I thought, okay, I'm a grown adult. I should be able to fold paper and get this correctly. So after just trying to wing it, I went to the source. I looked at Paige's cut file and saw how easy it was to do this. But yeah, anyway. So once you get it folded, it's done. And the rest of it is just filling it in. And so the fun part of this was sorting through all the papers to decide, yeah, I'm still going here. I'm still going. <laughs> oh, sometimes I amuse myself. Yeah, I'm going to get it in just a second, I promise. <laughs> yeah, there's me going, what is this? Okay, so here we go. Now you can see it's like an accordion. It just goes opposite. The middle row is opposite the top and the bottom. And so then when you close it, voila, there you go. It's like a little book, and all it does is just fold out once you get everything glued together. So the base I did in white, and everything else I did in pattern papers. This is the little envelope. It's so adorable. And the fun part about cutting things like this on double-sided pattern paper is it's kind of reversible. If you fold it one way and you change your mind, you can just fold it the other way. And I decide to keep the polka dots on the outside. And so then all you have to do is kind of glue the edges or tape the edges, and then you've got a little envelope. It's adorable. You could put little tiny trinkets in there or little photos. So this piece here, and everything that's meant to be folded on this cut file has little perforated edges. And so you know exactly where it's supposed to be folded. So this is like a little accordion mini album within the mini album. And it's gonna go right here on the right corner. And there's little tabs to hold it in. And it folds out, how cute is that? You could put the envelope wherever you want it. And that's where the covers are gonna go, but that's gonna be later. Um, I love this little floral piece. It's so tiny and it's perfect for this cut file. Gives a little bit of detail. So you know me, I have to jazz up white card stock. So I'm gonna be covering most of this, the front anyway, with white, is that white or clear? I think it's clear. Nope, it's white. It doesn't matter. It's gesso. I'm gonna smudge some down because I'm gonna do a little bit of mixed media. Now I have everything kind of laid out. I think this is how I wanna do it. Um, you can obviously mix and match where you put things. It, it, you know, it's it's wide open. Possibilities are endless. But I decided just to kind of stain some of the white with Distress Oxides here. And so I pulled out, uh, what is the orange? Sp Spice Marmalade, I think it's called. And Picked Raspberry is the pink. And I left the papers on there. They're not glued down, but I left them close so I could make sure that I get the right ink colors and, uh, you know, I want some pink where there's not any pink paper, and then I want some yellow where there's not necessarily yellow paper. That yellow is called fossilized amber, and I think that pink down on the bottom is, it's either abandoned coral or worn lipstick. I think it's abandoned coral. But I'm just kind of smudging this on dry. Um, the gesso is dry and it allows me to really smudge. And then if I add water, it's going to blend really nicely. 
this blue color, uh, I believe that's broken china. I think. I always put my inks up before I write down the names of them. This one is cracked pistachio. And a lot of this is going to be covered up, you know, with the papers, but I want everything that I'm coloring with the Distress Oxide to sort of peek around. Now, this is the magic of the Distress Oxides. When you add water to it, it sort of picks up the color, and it makes it look all spotty and bleached. I love that. I think it looks so cool. I'm going to glue that little pocket piece down at the bottom. So now I've got a pocket there. And then I'm going to start to glue down all of these pattern papers. And I just went through several of the pattern papers from Oh My Heart. And I'll have all of those pattern papers listed down at the bottom under supplies. And I just wanted this to be full of color, lots of fun, lots of different patterns. And like I said, for someone that's not the greatest at mini albums, this one kind of makes it impossible to mess up because you've got the templates already there and you don't have to do any measuring or anything like that. So I took a break, came back, and I thought I'm going to do some stitching. So I took some time. I used black thread. I went around most of the squares. I did some zigzag. I went around those cutout shapes. I stitched down those tags or those little banner pieces. I very slowly went around that little piece in the bottom left corner. And I love how that looks. I love the crisp edges that it gives and also stitched around the covers. So I printed out a ton of little tiny Las Vegas pictures because, you know, that's one of our favorite places to go. And this is from a trip that we took back in 2016 with my sister and my brother-in-law and there's so many pictures but I just went through and, and picked out some that highlighted our trip and um, I, I get questions a lot about where I print my photos I print them at home I have a very old I'm talking over 11 12 years old HP photo smart printer it's it's really big but it prints up to 8 by 10 and I usually use 4x6 papers, but I just use the software that came with it, and I can just basically insert a photo onto my background of the, pa of, the pr of the photo paper, and I can just click and drag it. And I really don't ever even measure. I just kind of eyeball it. And so I used an 8x10 sheet to print out all these tiny photos, and I just made them, I don't even know what size they are. But they're really tiny and it's perfect and I'm going to cry when this printer finally dies on me because it's been wonderful. Um, so I've got pictures of them, pictures of us, pictures of us eating, pictures of food. That's gelato over there. I've been dying to use that chipboard square that says eat dessert first because I have pictures of dessert finally. Um, I'm going through all the Oh My Heart things. I'm also using the 30 page sticker book that page came out with and it's got a lot of the Oh My Heart stickers. I'm going to use, let's see, chipboard. I already said that. Chipboard, some of the clear stickers with the rose gold shine on them, like that have fun piece. And I'm going to use flowers. I'm going to use these little planner stickers that are little tiny word and phrase stickers that are pretty much made for planners, but I don't plan. Well, I plan, but I don't write that down. I don't I don't decorate a planner. Um, so I use them for layouts and I put three little tiny photos of basically different views from Vegas in the envelope there and this this part is what is fun to me it came together really quickly just going through the sticker book and adding little bits of washi tape or uh, finding you know this sticker or that sticker and just kind of decorating it. Um, it's fun to add little edges like the, this washi tape that's got the scallops on it. Just to add that as a little photo edge. I printed some of the pictures in black and white. Some of them in color. And I love that they're so tiny. And this is all going to fold up into this cute little card. Um, I used the My Weekend is All Booked sticker. Perfect for this because it was a long weekend. I highly recommend the 30 page sticker books. Um, I know that most of the American craft designers came out with one and I only have pages and there are so many stickers in there. They go a long way. I've used this thing for 
a lot of projects and I still have a ton of stickers left. I'm using some of those rectangles for mats behind some of those little photos. There's also some little tags behind this on the second row on the bottom in the little pocket and that's where I'm going to do a little bit of journaling later. I'm going to stick down the envelope and then continue to work on this little accordion piece. And I'm even going to stick some photos on the opposite side of the accordion album. So look at there, it folds up. How cute is that? Now I'm going to stick on the cover. I'm not a very nice and neat and organized um, scrapbooker at all. And if you've watched my channel, you know uh, I'm very messy. I, um, I don't look very uh, elegant. I don't know what the word is um, with it putting albums together. I'm all over the place. I, since I've filmed this, I have used a new sheet of, uh, what is it called? White, the white paper that's behind on my desk. See how dirty that is? I finally put some new, it's a uh, contact paper. I finally put a new one down. So my desk is now crisp and white again. But yeah, I, I see these other ladies making albums and they just look so graceful and they look so organized and I just feel like the Tasmanian devil putting together projects. I'm all over the place. I have stuff falling all over me because my desk is a mess and it just, yeah. <laughs> the finished product always turns out great, but the process, it is a mess. And that's just, that's just how it goes in this house, I guess. But anyway, I'm still adding stickers. I tried to keep it as much of the process as I could. Now I can't have anything that's related to Las Vegas without some shimmer and sparkle. So here come the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine Splatters. And I'm just gonna splatter this onto the cover and you know what that's gonna look like. It's gonna be gorgeous because you can't put gold color shine on anything and it not look pretty. See, look, shiny, love it. I'm going to use the Oh My Heart Thickers and I'm going to spell out the word Vegas and it's going to be wider than the actual width of the cover so I'm going to sort of overlap the letters and this is a little random piece. I believe this is from a paper from Turn the Page. I'm just going to use the word Adventures. I'm also going to use this ribbon from Turn the Page to tie it all together. But I wanted to go ahead and tie it together so I knew exactly where it would the ribbon would be so I would knew where, know where to put the title. So I'm going to put Adventures, or not Adventures in Vegas, Vegas Adventures is going to be the title. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these alphas together so I can just move the title as one big word and not have all of these separate letters kind of falling all over the place be easier to attach that way. Okay, so I've got that all glued together and I've been dying to use this little handbag, this little purse. And I thought, you know what? Let's use it on the cover. I think that's adorable and it just reminds me of vacation and shopping and carrying a cute purse. So I'm going to use it. I'm also going to glue down the ribbon on the front there so I know exactly where it's going to go and uh, it's going to stay put. And so is the title and the purse. And then I'm going to add this little puffy sticker. It's a little multicolored scallop under adventures. And I think that looks cute. I am going to add a little bit of foam underneath the S to raise it up since the other portion is on top of that purse. So here we go. I think this looks so cute. It's so sparkly. I did add some gold sequin stars to the front ribbon just to add to the sparkle and shine. And this is pretty much finished. I'm just going to open it up and show you what it looks like. I highly recommend this if you want to do a mini album, but you're scared of, you know, what shape do I use? Do I cut a bunch of tags? Do I, uh, how do I make a mini album? Because trust me, 
mini albums are not my best project, um, but I love it when ch when Paige challenges me to try it, and I always wind up loving the end result. They're just very intimidating to me because it, it's just not my strong suit, but I always try to find a way to make it my own and make it uh, to where I like it, and it's fun to create, and I think this one turned out adorable. I used a little heart sticker to attach the envelope closed. And then here's a couple of little stickers, stickers, photos, the uh, Vegas skyline and um, the pool, things like that. So those are going to go inside that little envelope and then it's going to stay shut with a little heart. And then here are the tags. I just did a little bit of bullet, like the highlights of things that we did in these photos. And those are going to be tucked right behind that picture. And look at the dimension. This is so cute. I crammed a lot of pictures in this thing. And it, for me, it really didn't take as long as I thought it was going to because sometimes projects can take me up to three days to finish. And so I was very happy when this one did not take that long. And then all you do is tie it back up into a nice little bow. And there is your mini album. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was actually a lot of fun to make. Check out the Silhouette Cut Store. Type in Paige Evans. All of her gazillion cut files will come up. They're all amazing. And she's got a bunch of mini album cut files to make it easy on you. So this one is extremely easy. Once you get it folded in the first place, uh, yeah. <laughs> once you get that done, it's easy. But that was just me and my user error. But once I figured it out, here come the uh, still shots. I love how this turned out. It was fun. I think it's cute. And I would love to see if you guys use this or if you uh, decide to make a mini album using this. So keep posting to the Facebook group and I'll link that below if you are not a member. So come and join us and see all the things that is inspired or all the things that are inspired by Paige and all of us that use her products. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions about the products, the techniques, or anything at all. Thanks so much for subscribing and watching, and I'll see you next time.